Well, both these girls are on debut, their very first time inside the cage, and it's here at Rain. All thanks to Ads On, our official sponsor. First of all, our Blue Connor weighted at 62.3 kilos. Another member of Rhino MMA in Yapoon. Please give it up for her debut, Emma Chambers. Also on debut, our Red Connor at 64.2 kilos. She trains under Joe Perry at Kachi MMA, fighting out at Toowoomba, Molly O'Connell. Absolutely correct there, Cristiano. She's uh, Molly O'Connell. She's a, a rugby league representative, and she's also a national amateur BJJ champion. That's right. Don't ask me how I knew that. It's funny how you are, it's only the ladies you have a lot of background information <laughs> on. <laughs> oh. Gregory Staines there. Molly in the rash guard. Interesting to see if she can get some traction benefits out of that later on when the rounds get a bit more sweatier. Oh, I'd absolutely have to think so. Girls don't sweat though. <laughs> they <laughs> just right. glow. That's yeah, <laughs> they just. Yeah, that's exactly right. And Molly, she's definitely on her bike. She's got a lot of lateral movement. For someone who's a, a self confessed national amateur BJJ champion, oh, this is what I want to see. Oh. Lovely trip straight into the cycle. <laughs> Hips to the side. This essentially makes it a really hard escape for Emma to get out of now. She's controlling her hips by walking back and pushing them to the side. Whereas if she could turn them towards Molly, she could get out a lot easier. Absolutely. She's somewhat twisting the spine and uh, taking it out of alignment. So then, uh, as a result of that, all the, the chained muscles all together, a lot of these big compound movements are going to be taken away. That's right. Everything throws off. No neuromuscular control. She's actually a great. She's in a nice little leg drag position. She has got a leg hook, but it's not going to do much. So Ooh, just be careful that leg doesn't come through in regard, but she's gone straight to the knee right oh, onto the mount. Right. From side control to side control. It's a smart move, though, because she almost gave up half guard. Interesting to see, though, if she moved because she has a be she's better on that side. Every grapple has one side that's better than the other. Mm -hmm. And especially in a fight when everything's on the line like this, like potentially concussions and everything, you want to be working on your best side. Try to finish it as quick as you can. That's it. Get in, get out without a scratch. Emma holding on for dear life with a headlock escape. Um, in a jiu-jitsu competition, well, she's let it go, but again, she's holding the posture down. In a jiu-jitsu competition, you might see the exact opposite, them shrimping out and cross-facing and whatnot, but... You're not getting punched in the face. That's exactly right. There's, a, there's another factor in there, and it obviously is the uh, dynamic impact of a fist onto your nose. Yeah, that's exactly and right. Or jaw. That'll uh, change your <laughs> half guard. <laughs> okay, we've got we've got this connection of the hips here. I'm interested to see what this is about. We're again switching to the side, so I am thinking that she has switched to this side a couple times now. That this is a better side for possibly a choke or to throw punches. That's a really good pickup. This is dangerous here. Did you get a shot off. Oh. Good round, Molly O'Connell finding uh, finding a groove, and it was where we expected uh, on top uh, in the grappling situation. Yeah. Girls, yeah, the girls are going to come out hard there. Uh, looks like they, uh, Molly's wanting to take it to the ground. I don't, we're not really sure what uh, Emma's just spent the round scrambling, I guess. So yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm thinking that she's maybe going to show more in the second round standing up. Maybe come out hard and throw some punches. Yeah, she's going to really see. She needs to pick it up, really. Absolutely. She's going to want to get that round back. Yeah. You don't want to be two in the hole and you get into a situation where you just absolutely need to do it. So what do you reckon the corner is saying to her here? Do, do uh, not to get Molly. taken down. Stay on your feet. Just like or the you get the takedown. Our charities here tonight alive. 
They're a charity for the prevention of youth suicide in Australia. They're here tonight, they're selling t-shirts and caps, so you can just give a donation. Lovely to go on, uh, check out their stand up near the entrance here tonight at the Mansfield Tavern. Round two. Overhand. Oh, Molly drops down, and uh, because of that underhook, she's able to sneak out the back there. It's luckily, Emma turned over when she did, or she potentially could have Molly on her back end. I don't think that would have been a good night for her. No, absolutely not. We've already seen well, it. Emma's doing a good job here of, of um, you know, scrambling and keeping uh, Molly off. He's obviously, Mo Molly's obviously with the, uh, the jiu-jitsu background is... Yeah. Probably the one you'd feel that you'd favour her on the floor, but but uh, Emma's doing a good job of thwarting her. Well, as I say that, she looks like yeah, she she looks like she's I don't know. It's not here, not there, but she's definitely working on something. She's just just being she's just being a pest, isn't she? Just Molly's got a head arm choke on here. I think you can see, guys, she's got her head lower than a sh than a Emma's arm there. She's got a choke on. Right as you said that, yeah, she sort of cinched it up. This is tight. This is I'll be interested to see if this finishes it here. With a good posture. She wants to slide her hips down, but Emma's coming around trying to get a hook through the back, which is alleviating some of the pressure. Maybe not for the inside of her mouth, though, unfortunately. The teeth would be poking through the cheeks. Oof. But, yeah, it must have been enough to bother uh, Molly. She gave up on it. She uh, preferred to keep the dominant position and start working from here. She Molly. looks like the far stronger athlete on the ground, doesn't she? She's Definitely. Like, the strength-wise just looks... Um, whilst Emma's doing a good job of... This those. contest is being fought under C-class rules, ladies and gentlemen, so there is no punching to the head while the are on the ground. As uh, Dave just informs us that there's no punching to the head whilst both of these guys are on the ground, so... Um, that explains a lot of the that, that's fantastic <laughs> grappling with <laughs> it. <laughs> it does. Ooh. What's going on here, Cristiano? He's trying to get that leg under. He's got a Kimura grip going on in his arms there. Coming up, she's switching it up to take the back now. Is that is deep. Dangerous. That's very deep. We might see a tap. I think we'll she see wants a tap here. She wants to get her arm across more. She just wants to get the chin inside. Oh, yeah. as I said that. Here we see a replay. Now things played out. Very dominant win for Molly. And she got it into her realm, which was on the ground. And uh, here we see a trip where she got it down. Once it was on the ground, there was really was a vast strength difference. I mean, obviously, uh, Molly had the jiu-jitsu background as well, but just the physical specimens, it looked like Molly had just a vast yeah. amount more strength than it. Definitely. The she was using a lot of hand arm control over the geometry of her body. Understanding that on the ground is very important for grappling. Good to see the well. ladies back in the cage. All well, thanks to Ads on this fight. Proud sponsor of Rain MMA. At a time of 2 minutes 22 seconds of round number 2, your winner, tap out due to a rear naked choke. Put your hands together for Molly O'Connor. And the DMX walkout theme. Right, never, never fails. So this might be something that we...